10 Cool Facts About Horses. Did you know riding a horse is 3.5 times more dangerous than riding a motorcycle? Learn all about animals with me on Animal Science TV. Fact 10. Nose breathers. Horses are obligate nasal breathers, meaning they can't breathe through their mouths. The mouth is separated so the horse can't accidentally inhale food. Horse lungs are 10 times bigger than our lungs, so they can generate a strong vacuum in those big nostrils. Are you a nose breather or a mouth breather? Nine, one stride per breath. While galloping, a horse's breathing is directly controlled by the movement of its legs. Stretching the front legs forward expands the chest so air gets sucked into the lungs. And impacting the ground smushes the chest, forcing air out. Horses can't hold their breath while swimming because the act of paddling itself forces them to breathe in and out even when their face is underwater. 8. A single toe. Horses are classified as perissodactyls, or mammals with an odd number of toes and with hooves. They are closely related to the rhino, which has three hooved toes. The horse and rhino's common ancestor started with five toes, but lost them gradually over time. Today, a horse only has a single prominent middle toe. The tip of this toe is covered in a huge keratin toenail, otherwise known as a hoof. Did you know? In the 1700s, the term horsepower was coined by inventor James Watt to help market his steam engine. His engine was mainly used to pump water out of coal mining shafts. And coal workers understood what Watt meant when he said, my engine can do the work of six horses. By 1913, the Ford Model T had 20 horsepower. Today, most of the world markets engine power in a scientific unit kilowatts. But the United States sticks with horsepower. 20 horsepower is the exact same as 15 kilowatts, but in an advertisement, 20 HP sounds more powerful than 15 kW. Fact 7. Standing naps. Horses are prey animals. By napping while standing, a horse is ready to start running immediately if startled by a predator. Horses have special tendons and ligaments that can lock their leg joints in place, allowing the horse to relax and doze off while balancing on their forelegs like a chair. This locking mechanism is called the stay apparatus. Don't try sleeping while standing. Us humans can't lock our leg joints, and even if you put yourself in a full body cast, you'd still fall over because it's nearly impossible to balance on just two legs. Standing naps are not deep sleep, and horses must sleep laying down every day too. Six, REM sleep. R-E-M stands for rapid eye movement. During REM sleep, a mammal's closed eyes dart around and vivid dreaming occurs. Horses only need about 30 minutes of REM sleep per 24 hours, but to reach this stage of sleep, they must lay down. Horses sleep in short intervals spread throughout the day and night. In total, a horse truly sleeps for about three hours per day. Five, lookout duty. In the wild, horses are social animals. It is common to see an entire herd sleeping at the same time while a single horse stands watch. Horses share this responsibility and rotate which individual goes on guard duty throughout the day. The horse's predators include coyotes, bears, 
mountain lions, alligators, and wolves. Four, fight or flight. Horses are not equipped with horns like most grazing animals are. Instead, they are highly skilled gallopers and will choose flight over fight whenever possible. But sometimes, horses are forced to fight off predators. Mares will fight to protect their babies if they're too weak to run away. Stallions also might protect a mare and her babies to earn mating rights. Horses can stomp with their front legs and bite, but their most powerful move is bucking. This is when a horse jumps in the air and kicks with both hind legs at the same time. Their hooves are very hard and can reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour on impact. A kick from the rear legs of a horse is easily fatal, and that's why you should never stand behind a horse. Horses also can't see behind their behind, so you could end up startling them and getting kicked in the face. Adult horses weigh about 1,000 pounds and are way too fast and dangerous for most of today's predators to even attempt hunting. 3. Ancient Predators and Evolution Horses first emerged about 55 million years ago in North America, and they ate leaves. Climate change soon caused many trees in North America to disappear, and new wide-open grasslands replaced what was once forest. The horse family, Equidae, evolved to take advantage of this new food source, grass. Horses thrived, and by about 10 million years ago, there were at least 12 different species of horses living in North America. We had the giant horse at over 2,500 pounds, and the teeny horse at just 100 pounds. The modern horse evolved as the prey of now extinct dire wolves, saber-toothed tigers, and the American cheetah. That is why, today, the modern horse's defenses seem a bit overpowered. 10 million years ago, the diversity of horses was wonderful, but then something bad happened. By the end of the last ice age, just 12,000 years ago, all horses in North America had disappeared. 2. The Bering Land Bridge Luckily, the modern horse we all love today was able to escape North America and migrate all the way west to Asia, Africa, and Europe. During the last ice age, ocean levels were low because much of the Earth's water became stored as land ice. This allowed the horse to walk from Alaska to Russia across the Bering Land Bridge. This land bridge was the same one that the ancient Native Americans took east to populate the Americas. Did these humans hunt the remaining horses in America to extinction? Or did the ice destroy the grasslands, resulting in starvation? Maybe it was disease. Nobody really knows, but by the end of the last ice age, 12,000 years ago, there were no horses left in all of the Americas. Did you know? Have you ever heard somebody use the expression long in the tooth to describe something as old? As horses age, their gums recede, making their teeth appear longer. So a quick way to estimate the age of a horse is to look at its chompers. For example, I am a bit too long in the tooth to still be playing with stuffed animals. And fact one, domestication. When the Ice Age ended, humans started farming and building civilizations. Evidence shows horses were domesticated 5,500 years ago in Kazakhstan for their meat. But 
Humans quickly learned horses could also be used for milk, farm work, and most amazingly, riding. Only one species of horse survives today, and it was brought full circle back to the Americas in the 1500s by European explorers, settlers, and conquistadors. Today, there are an estimated 86,000 feral horses living free in the American West. These once domestic animals escaped from the Spanish hundreds of years ago and are called mustangs. But the only truly wild horses that have no history of domestication live in Mongolia and are critically endangered. There are only 1,900 Chevelsky horses alive today. If you enjoyed this video, I have more cool animal fact videos in my playlist up here, and I have science education videos in the playlist down here. My name's Chris, and hopefully I'll see you next time on Animal Science TV.